these new Instagram features are dope. So I've got 10 awesome, amazing, epic, mind-blowing story ideas using layouts, GIF packs, fonts, and a couple other tricks up my sleepy. But guys, let's just get into it. All right, so for this first one, we're gonna be checking out a new feature from Instagram called Layout. So if you have a look at the bottom here in Stories, if you swipe to the left, there is a new feature called Layout, and these are grid templates. So I've got a four grid template. You can take pictures just like this if you want, or what's super cool is if you don't wanna take pictures, you can use ones that already exist in your gallery. So you just click on that little icon right over there, and then just choose the images you wanna use in your story. So of course, I'm just selecting the images that I want to showcase. And what's also pretty nifty is you can still move the images around within each block. So if you don't like the positioning of the picture, you can change that up. So once you're done, you just click on that tick button and now you can customize it even further. So I just thought I'd throw in these dashes, but this is a really cool new feature. And here is just another example on the right hand side of a three lined grid. So you get some different options and definitely check this out. Now, of course, by now we are all aware of GIFs or GIFs, whatever you want to call them. But what's really cool is if you know what to search for, you can find some really cool GIFs. So for example, once you've got your story ready, head on over to the GIF section by clicking on that icon and of course selecting the GIF icon and then type in Gladdest. And what you'll find is a really awesome collection of GIFs made by a particular artist that uploaded these under the hashtag Gladdest. And what's so epic about these GIF collections is it's so easy to make your Instagram stories look like thebomb.com without having to search thousands upon thousands of GIFs. And one of the best ways to find GIF collections like this is just head on over to Pinterest and search insta story gifts and there are a whole bunch of different ones so for example minim is a really cool one and also tape you'd be so surprised at how many cool different tape options there are so go out and find some packs that you like and just remember what the collection names are <laughs> Okay, now this is a really cool one and does involve a different keyboard. So if you head on over to the text icon and you check out this little keyboard icon in the bottom right hand corner, all you're going to do is change over to the Google Gboard. You can download it from the App Store or the Play Store. So this will work for both Android and iPhone users, which is epic. So once you've designed your stories and maybe added some text, what you're gonna do is click on that text icon again, but right over here, you'll see a little sticker icon. And if you click on that, you have these really cute little stickers that move. And here I downloaded this copy one. So I just placed this little sticker in my story and like that I have the most adorable little animated sticker in my story and this is only available on the Gboard. So I just went back to this little coffee stickers, chose another one and popped it in. There are so many different ones to choose from so definitely check those out but if you're not a fan of stickers what you can also do is head on over to the keyboard and click on the GIF icon or GIF and in the search section I just looked up a wine. Of course you look up whatever you would want to add to your story and then straight away once you click on it it's added to your story and again you've got a completely different looking story than what you could make on Instagram itself. Now this is a cool little way to share your favorite songs and all you do is grab a picture of say your earbuds or airpods whatever you have then head on over to the music section within Instagram stories and of course look up the song that it is you want to share with your audience and then once you've selected your option you're just going to want to make sure that it's on this lyric selection simply because it looks the best. So once you've done that you can go ahead and change the colors customize it a little bit more if you want to and then you're going to place the lyrics next to your earbud just as you see me doing here. So it's as if the lyrics are coming out of the earbud if that makes sense and then I went and searched lines I found this really cool little gif pop that next to the earbud and just like that you've shared a cool song but in a really epic way am I right? <laughs> This is another really epic one and again involves a different keyboard. So you can get this keyboard called Fonts from the Play Store or App Store, again available for Android or iPhone users, which is so nifty. And then once it's installed, again, head on over to Instagram and then change your keyboard from whichever one it's on to the Fonts keyboard. And now you can make super interesting stories because if you go to the keyboard, you will see these options right at the top there. And if you slide along these options, you'll see the various fonts available. 
So you literally just select the one you want and as you see the entire keyboard changes and the font just like that is now on your stories. I think this is so cool and such a fun way to make your stories look super different and interesting. On top of that you can also still change the size of the font, you can also add the background if you want, so it literally works exactly the same as the fonts in Instagram except you've got different fonts, if you know what I'm saying? So here I also just made a little quote. I decided to use the comic font and as you can see, it looks completely different and just jazzes things up a little bit. So definitely check out that font keyboard. Okay, now for this one, you're gonna to wanna to have a video of just something completely random, like these flowers, or sometimes I do it off the sky. And feel free to add a filter if you want, but then what you're gonna do is make the page completely solid. From there, select the eraser tool, and now you are going to erase a border. And what this does, as you can see, is just add some visual interest to your story, because your border is actually moving and is not a solid color, if that makes sense. You could also do this just by expanding a GIF to a really huge size, but nonetheless, I like to use videos and on the left is another example of where I took some video of clouds and made the story. PNGs are actually really great accessories to any story. So here I've just got a picture of coffee and in my gallery I have some saved PNG images. These ones I made but you can save so many off of the internet and all you do is you copy this image then head on over back to your stories and paste it as a sticker. You then just scale it up, place it where you want and add another one if you want and like that I've just elevated the story using some PNGs that are always saved in my gallery. And what's so nice about having these PNGs saved is you can use them on so many different pictures just like this example on the left hand side so go out save some pngs and use them on your stories Vertical text is another little design element we often forget about and this one is so simple but definitely eye-catching and literally all you're going to do is you're going to type in a letter, hit the return key and then add some spaces, type in the letter again until you have a design much the same as this. So as you can see I was spelling out the word AirPods and then in between the letters I decided to add a couple of little dots in various different sizes and I think this is just a really cool story idea not only because it's easy peasy lemon squeezy but because it really stands out and it's just something different from what you're used to seeing. Another really cool creative idea is adding some transparent blocks to your stories and all you're going to do is put in a punctuation mark, add a bunch of spaces, punctuate again and then just click on that icon in the top left hand corner until it's on the transparency mode. Then just select whatever color you want so I'm going for this green color and then all you do is scale up the block so that you can't see any of the punctuation marks and now you have a really cool transparent block that you can place anywhere on your stories. You can add some more if you want so again I'm just making another one but I'm choosing a slightly different color so that when I overlay it you can see the variations in color. You also don't have to make these blocks transparent, you can keep them solid or do whatever it is you want until you are super happy with the design of your story. So finally I'm just adding some text and here is just another example of how you can use these transparent blocks to add some visual interest to your stories and make them stand out a bit. I also love how you can layer these and just get some different effects so try this one out guys! Then on the topic of some transparent designs, what you can also do is once you've got a picture up, head on over to the text icon, then select the first letter of your word and again click on this button until you are on transparency mode. Select whatever color you think is going to work best for your design. So I was choosing various red colors and I was spelling out the word YouTube. So you're just going to repeat this process but every time you choose another letter, just choose a slightly different color. And then once you place the letters next to each other, you'll get this kind of colored transparency effect and I just think this looks so cool and is completely different to what you normally see on Instagram. And as you can see this is a super easy design to do and can all be done within the Instagram app, no secondary app needed. And then here is just another example of how cool this looks. If you enjoyed this video then don't forget to like and subscribe or you can check out some of my other Instagram videos right over here. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Toodles!